this is Blaze Radar with a tutorial on how to make an explosion using Blender 2.5 with the new smoke simulator. Let's get started. Press 3 to go into side view. Z to see your wireframe. This, uh, the default cube is going to be the domain, so just scale this up on the Z axis. No. 2, 3, just move it up. Press Shift A to add a plane. This will emit particles for the smoke. So we can just move this down. Yeah. Now, I want to set up the materials for the domain first because there's like these, this bug where if I bake and then set up the materials, all my baked data disappears for some reason. So I, I don't understand why. So I'm going to just add a new material, volume. Increase the density to 0, density scale to 1, no 2, scattering to 2, and step size to 0 0.015. This just um, smooths out uh, the flames and the smoke instead of making giving it a blocky look. I'll just rename this to smoke fire for better reference. Now we have to add some textures for the smoke to happen right now for render, it's just nothing. So first we'll add new voxel data texture. Let's make this name this smoke. Uh, as the then the main object, just it's gonna be the mesh, which is this one here selected. Just rename that to the main. And this one to your emitter. Just control left click. If anyone's wondering. Now we're going to set this voxel data texture to the to map to the density, influence the density. And in my explosion um, video, the density I had I set it as one. Add another voxel data type uh, texture. This will be for the fire. Don't forget to set the domain object. Emission as seven. That's how it was in my other video and ramp. This is going to map to the flames. Where, yeah, the flames. So we'll start off with a bright white color and then increase the output of this to 1. And then I got the hex, hex code from before, so it's FE7400. Another, another color step. FF5900 One more and The last one Alpha to zero so it fades off into the smoke and This is just red So we can push these out a bit The main portion is going to be This colour here So yeah, a reddish colour Now we can get onto the baking We'll add a particle system to the emitter This is where the smoke will come from Emission, we'll just set it to 80,000 and 100 5 time 1 frame random velocity to 0 0.3. Yeah. And in the render, I just scroll down in the render tab, select none and emitter. We don't want the plane to render. So, yeah, should just be nothing there right now. Now going to the physics tab, press add, smoke, flow, and select the particle system. Now select the domain, press add to the domain, divisions, I'll just make it 40. The higher, the higher you make this, the better the smoke will look, but it's more labor intensive on the computer. So you probably just leave it low for now. Dissolve just makes the fire fade out after I think 15 frames so that's a good effect for like disappearing smoke maybe and heat 0 0.35 this just controls how fast the smoke rises so yeah we'll just keep it at that number if you increase it too high the smoke comes out uh, in like little blocky steps so it's not very good in the smoke cache just 
I'm just decreasing it to 100 because that's how long my video is. I'm going to enable smoke high res 2 FFT. And there's a high res cache. Make it 100 also. And right now, we have to save it before we bake anything because you won't go anyway. So, Ctrl W to save. Just press bake. Bake all dynamics, actually. Bake all dynamics. Alt A, the animation should play. You select show high res, you'll see the difference that it makes. You can see how it comes up and like, turns into like a mushroom cloudish type of thing. Just press Ctrl Alt Zero, set the camera view to side view. Bring this down a bit. Out, I mean, just middle click and drag. G, middle click and drag. GZ. Just move it up so you can see the whole volume. F12 to render. And a pretty good looking fire there. Come out here. F12 once more. You can see the flames and the smoke coming. Obviously, to get a better effect, you got to increase the, the resolution here. Otherwise, it will just look, look like how it is now. In my video it was 100 divisions, 100 resolution. Divisions was 2 FFT, so yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You can see in the viewport, looks pretty cool. F12. Yep. Let's come here to the first few frames. F12. There's the explosion, although it doesn't look that dramatic here. When you render it out with a high resolution bake, it will look fine. Thank you for watching my video tutorial, hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos and tutorials, thank you.